Where are the wildflowers for the second week of March, 2021? This week we're coming to you from uh, Whitewater Canyon Preserve and I'm lying in the middle of the wash next to this uh, Douglas's Milk Fetch, which is a wonderful little wildflower, has some kind of pale yellow, almost greenish flowers and these really distinctive red stems. And as the flowers uh, are pollinated and turned into fruits, they form these big seed pods. It's a member of the bean family, so it has these a pretty good size, like kind of grape-sized or even larger bean pods. So if you come to the Whitewater Preserve, you'll be able to see this flower and many others. There's really a fantastic variety of wildflowers blooming right now uh, at the preserve, all up and down the Pacific Crest Trail. So we started hiking at the preserve and hiked up the Pacific Crest Trail to Red Dome and back again. And right at the beginning, there's as many flowers as you'll see anywhere else. Uh, you may have heard that last year in the summer of 2020, there was a fire at the preserve. And when it happened, it seemed like it might be a, a really terrible thing for the preserve. And they did have to do quite a bit of repairs on fences and signs and telephone poles and those kinds of things. But as far as the environment is concerned, the fire actually can be a very beneficial uh, process, a natural part of the cycle of renewal. And now after some rain has fallen, snow melt is coming down the canyon and it's nice and warm, the wildflowers are just exploding all throughout the burn area, especially the uh, California bells, which are these purple bell-like flowers that are just covering much of the burn area right as you uh, drive in. Really spectacular. In addition to those California bells, we also saw poppies. Wild cucumber. Blue dicks. Uh, we saw a really nice owl's clover. So we've seen a lot of the same flowers that we saw last week in Mission Creek, which is right over the hill. We're also seeing a lot of new species. We're in that transition zone at the far western edge of the Coachella Valley where the desert turns into more of a chaparral, woodland, uh, coastal environment. And many of the species we've seen are indicators of that. They're things that even in the wettest of years in the Coachella Valley, you won't see in La Quinta or Indio. So in a dry year like this one, of course, there's almost no flowers blooming there, but the flowers here are blooming really well. So come check it out. Add the observations of what you see to iNaturalist. Keep participating in the Wild Coachella Challenge. And we'll come to you next week with more updates on where the wildflowers are blooming in the Coachella Valley. I did. Somebody knocked a rock down.